It's more affordable than ever to get into the best gaming PCs, and now is the perfect time to head out and buy one of the best PC gaming headsets. When you're playing games, having high sound quality is extremely important. You've already perfected your visual experience, so the next step is getting awesome sound. Not everything is about having pretty ray-traced graphics. The best gaming monitors don't always have speakers, and the best ones that do rarely have the best sound. If you're looking for a great, immersive audio while playing the best PC games like Battlefield 5, you'll need either the best computer speakers or one of the best PC gaming headsets. You'll want to hear background noises, sound effects, dialogue, and music in all their high-fidelity glory. The highest-rated PC gaming headsets will have all the bells and whistles that Supreme computer speakers offer, but with a big advantage. Privacy. We bought these gaming headsets for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe. Razer Nari Ultimate No matter where you stand on the polarizing debate of haptic feedback in games, we have to applaud its first proper execution in a gaming headset with the Razer Nari Ultimate. Showcasing the company's new HyperSense technology, this headset, which feels like you're wearing a pair of subwoofers on your head, is best experienced for yourself. Since it features a wide gamut of haptic frequencies rather than just one static moment of vibration, the Nari Ultimate exhibits one of the best true-to-life rumble sensations we've ever experienced. And because support for it isn't programmed at the software level, every game is compatible. But it's more than just haptics. In fact, the sound quality on the Nari Ultimate is a considerable improvement from Razer's phonic endeavors of the past. Unlike the bass-heavy Kraken series cans, this one adds a healthy balance of highs and mids to the mix as well. HyperX Cloud Revolver S When we first sat down to review the HyperX Cloud Revolver S, we were a bit divided. On one hand, it features fantastic 7.1 channel surround sound, delivered through Dolby's trademark digital signal processor. On the other, it's extremely pricey when compared to other similar headsets. Luckily, as one of Kingston's most subdued pair of cans we've ever seen or heard, the pristine comfort and top-notch sound more than make up for its high price and oddly placed detachable mic. SteelSeries Arctis Pro Wireless Essentially, this is a fusion of two great SteelSeries models, old and new. The wireless capability and digital control box of the old 800 model combined with the comfort and sound performance of the Arctis range. Positioned right at the top end of the roster, this Arctis Pro is all about luxury. We love the ability to change batteries quickly, plugging the depleted one into the base station to charge and popping the charged one out so that you never need to stop gaming or plug the headset in. We love the controls housed in that base station's digital display too. Chat mix, virtual surround, EQ presets, and more can all be adjusted with a few taps. The icing on the cake is Bluetooth functionality. It teams up with the 2.4G wireless connectivity for lossless sound and means you can use it with mobile devices in addition to your PC. Astro A20 If you're looking for one of the best gaming headsets, but those high-end $300 headsets make your stomach turn and you don't want something cheap, you should take a look at the Astro A20s. Featuring solid stereo sound performance in a wireless headset, not to mention the stunning 15-hour battery life, this headset has all the necessary features that you might want in its price range. Sure, it doesn't have surround sound, but it more than makes up for it with its economy and battery life. Steel Series Arctis 7 What we like best about the Arctis 7 is that you can easily forget it's a wireless model while you're using it. There's none of the muddiness or audio artifacts that have historically ruined the party for wireless headsets. It sounds just as good as the best wired models we've tested at this same $150 price range. The extraordinary battery life clocks in at over 20 hours out of the box, and after almost a year of heavy use, that figure's hardly dropped off. You can keep playing while you charge it too, simply by connecting the headset to your PC with a USB cable. The Arctis range's distinctive ski goggle headband is really effective at keeping the weight of the headset away from your head, and even after playing for hours, we've never felt it digging in. HyperX Cloud Flight The HyperX Cloud Flight is a long-lasting wireless gaming headset featuring up to 30 hours of battery life. This means you can likely get two full days of gaming in between charges. However, there's a catch. Unlike the Cloud Flight's competition, namely the Astro A20, this gaming headset only offers stereo sound, abandoning any surround sound implementation. 
You can thankfully get around it by playing around with the Dolby Access app though, and the sound profile is balanced enough to make this a non-issue. Asus ROG Centurion 7.1 Abandoning all traditional aesthetics, the ROG Centurion 7.1 is a gorgeous piece of kit anyways. Even if it's a genuine pain to set up, this is one of the best PC gaming headsets both for its unique style and category-defined sound. The Asus ROG Centurion 7.1's onboard amp controls give you a complete control over this bombastic sound, and this beast can even bolster its already great sound to an external set of speakers. Logitech G Pro Logitech designed these cans with the help of eSports athletes with a view to stripping away all the fat that's usually found in gaming headsets, leaving a lean package of high-performance essentials. Generally, the G Pro achieves that. There's not a flame decal or RBG lighting strip in sight, and that functional aesthetic is matched by a bare-bones feature set. So bare-bones, in fact, that it might take some by surprise. There's no virtual surround, and only a mic mute and volume scroll wheel by way of controls. We like the overall sound produced by the drivers, even if it's a bit more pronounced towards the low end than we'd normally choose. We bought these gaming headsets for testing on Amazon from the official sellers, and if you want to get the same experience that we did, we highly recommend that you buy from the same place. Links will be in the description. If you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe.